Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thank you very much for watching this video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look at what I've got. Um, so seeing this was new, um, it's a TGI Friday's range. There's a lot of this um, have come in and um, I, I bought most of it. Um, so these are beef short ribs um, with maple um, barbecue rub and sticky barbecue sauce. 780 grams and there is the serving suggestion look and these were eight pounds 50 pence yep everything's going up unfortunately but we've got to keep smiling haven't we <laughs> so i thought i'd get them and try them see what they're like so let's have a look at the box there is the nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that by all means and um, per half a pack 356 Calories, um, oven baked, excluding bone. And there are the ingredients there, look. Um, beef ribs, 87%. Smoky barbecue sauce, 10%. Any allergens? Uh, in bold barley. I think it is, yeah, barley, just about. Um, so there's a little bit of spiel about them there. It says, um, is that focusing? Yes, there we go. Uh, beef short ribs with maple barbecue rub and sticky barbecue sauce. Slow cooked beef. Ribs in maple syrup, barbecuing, barbecue seasoning with a sachet of smoky barbecue sauce. A little GB sticker there on top. Anything else? Origin of beef. Is that focusing? Yeah. Origin of beef, UK and Ireland. So ways to cook. Let's have a look. There's a few ways. Preparation instructions. Um, you defrost 24 hours. Once defrosted, use immediately. Oven from defrost. Oven from frozen and barbecue from defrost. So I'm going to do them in my multi cooker. So let's get them open. Have a look at these. Now I know you're saying eight and a half quid. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Eight and a half quid. There we go. That is this is that look. It's sort of similar to them um, lamb shanks you get in a pack. And um, they're about three and a half quid. They're actually four quid. And I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever had beef short ribs before, so this is a first on me. So, let's see what it's like. So you're going to decant this into an oven-proof dish. Oh. So that's all. Is that the... What is that? Is that... I'll have a look in a minute. Better watch that stick it in my fingers. So there we go. This is that. Let me get a bit of a light for you and show you. So is that fat? I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Or is that the sauce? I don't know. It looks like... It's like... Um, well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> put it in anyway. So I've, cut, I've put them on this rack here so I can get them out easy. So it's lifted off the bottom. It was spinning round before. Um, and I've got, I put it on for, uh, what was it I put it on for? 40 minutes. And I turned it down to 160 because the heat is coming down from the top, you see. And I know it's, it's, it's eight and a half quid. Um, but, I mean, you, you, you could, you know, a, a nice treat in with your, your partner. You could share them, couldn't you? Now, <laughs> that absolutely pains me to say. You could share them, go halves. Uh, you could get a load of dirty fries in with chips and cheese. A load of dirty fries. Oh, yes. Going to go down a treat, that, wouldn't it? So, I've got another half an hour on here, and I'll, I'll bring you back. After after this is done, I've got to drain the juice off, I think. I'll, I'll talk you through it when, when they're done anyway, so I'll bring you back when, when they're done. So, uh, basically now, once you've done it in the oven, you have to drain all the juices out. And that, that sauce there, that, that I've been in hot water, you have to pour it all over your, your ribs, basically. So that's what I'm doing. Get that all over there, look. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And let all that uh, maple barbecued rub and a sticky barbecued sauce <laughs> get to know one another. 
So you get four, and on the picture there was two. A bit deceiving, really, because th there's it saying two, but obviously that's for that's for one person. So yeah, so there's two, two each. So they're done, and they are. They're looking good, to be honest. They are really looking good, and they're smelling good as well. So if this is your sort of a review, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, well, hit that subscribe button. And the bell icon as well, and you won't miss any of my videos if you're brave enough. <laughs> I'm going live this Friday night at uh, 8 o'clock, so please come and join me. We'll get some beers in. We'll um, have a bit of a quiz, if you want one. Uh, and we'll also get got some uh, hot sauces to try as well. But let's have a look at these first. Look at them. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait for this. This is a treat. So there we go. This is that. Have a look at that. <laughs> oh, what a treat. So I'm just going to get stuck in with my hands like, because there's only one way to eat the minute with your hands. And this is the first time I've never had, I've never had beef rib before. I don't think I've ever had it. It's always been pork. So let's um, get that one. There's more meat on that one. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. Oh. So it went crunch then. That was my tooth. <laughs> I better go and check them. Just a minute. False call. Thought I'd check my tooth, but it was. I don't know what it was. I couldn't find it. I had a look in it. I emptied me. I couldn't find it anyway, so I'm digging into the next one. There we go, look. Not, 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 not um, a lot on that one. Uh, it was the, um, the end bits are crispy, crunchy now. Not a lot on that one, but the other one just fell off the bone. Oh. Mm. oh, they are lovely. It's messy. Mm. The meat is so tender, it's so tasty as well, with having that the rub on there and the barbecue sauce. It just falls off the bone. They're sticky. Exactly what it says. Oh, they they're good. They are good. I got a lot of meat on that one. And this one is not, not a lot on. Obviously, you can pick the bone, which I'm going to do. I'm going to have a look at these two now. Obviously, there's loads of meat on that one. Look at that one. That's solid. That, that, that's, you've got to be watching these little bits here. The little crispy bits. That's what, I, that's what went crunch in my mouth. And obviously, there's bones in them as well. But um, let's, let's see what this is like. See how this falls off. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, they are really good. They are really good. Wow. They are tasty. Oh, I don't need to season them. They're just hitting the spot. They really are. They are good. God, would I buy them again? Um, yeah, I probably would actually. <laughs> I would. They're that tasty. Marks out of ten. Nine and a half. They're up there. They're right up there. That they are. They're good. They are good. 
So thanks for watching. We got this fart off me cat going live on Friday night, 8 o'clock. Please join in. Please tune in. Thank you very much to all the new foodies who have joined the channel as well. I'm just I'm gonna get into these now. The, the, the last one, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy that in there. I'm gonna get right into him like. Thanks for watching. Take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.